Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to keep working on these batteries. Now while I've been testing these and running them through some charge and discharge cycles, I've just had some thin gauge wire that I've just jammed into these little ports here. But that's not a long term solution. Now long term, I need to use these screw terminals on the ends and that'll give me half of the connections. The other half of the connections need to be made inside the battery at these terminals. And that means that I gotta take it apart again and do something real nice and solid here. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'd also like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace has an online platform where you can do a lot of things to help your business, uh, your marketing, you can get domain names there, and I'll talk more about them later, but thanks for sponsoring this. Here you can see the batteries and how I've wired them up just temporary so that I can do some of the charge and discharge cycles. We have all the wires coming down. The positive wires are going to this set of circuit breakers where there's a bus bar in the back. Those, that bus bar has all these little uh, fingers that fit into the terminal slots. All the negatives are actually run over here. Just ignore that it's red plastic. It's the only bus bar that I had. And this is how I was able to parallel them and hook them up to the uh, DC to DC uh, buck converters and boost converters. At the ends of each module are some real nice screw terminals. That's how I'm going to connect the heavy gauge wire. But over here in the middle, I just grabbed a piece of wire and put it in there between the plastic and the bus bar. I obviously cannot do that long term, so let's take this apart and put on a proper solid connection. When I do the final wiring of this battery, I'm not going to have the circuit breaker sitting out in the open. I'm going to tuck them up in this space, nice and neat and tidy. I'm really excited about that. But when I go and put these connections on these bus bars, I need to have a length of wire coming off for that. So I want to measure what that needs to be. I need three positives and three negatives. This is the wire I'm going to be using for that. And it's a nice eight gauge wire. I got both black and red. And it's a real flexible, high temperature silicone coated. I'm excited. So I'm going to measure this for the longest run of wire. And the longest run is going to go from the middle bus bar. It's going to flow along the middle of the battery. It's going to come down. And then it'll come over to the other side where it's going to connect up. And I'll give myself a little extra, and here we go. So this is maybe three and a half feet. We have both the black wires and red wires ready to go. I've got my positive and negative wires. And the ends here are going to need a ring terminal attached. Here's the bag of ring terminals that I purchased for this. They're 8 gauge. Here's the hydraulic crimping tool. And I'll leave a link for this in the description below. So there's 25. But that looks too big. 16 might be it. Let's see. Yeah, if I put a 16 on both sides, that might work. Let's give that a shot. Alright, so 16 didn't work. It pulled off. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh, let's try another one. Alright, it looks like the next size is going to be 10. 
Okay. That was the number 10 die. So I'm just going to hook this and try to pull it. Not coming off. Good. All right. So then the number 10 die will work with these. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an online platform where you can do a lot of things that can help your business. Uh, one of the things that I'm really happy that they do as far as building a website is they have a lot of pre-made templates. Those of you that have been watching my channel know that I'm not very good with the whole technology thing when it comes to computers or phones. So the fact that they have some templates that are pre-designed and will work on both the laptop and also work on the mobile devices, that really helps me out. It speeds up the process for me. Uh, you can also register your domain names there, which means that you don't have to go to separate websites to get the domain name and then go back to this other site to build the website. You can just do it all with Squarespace. So go over to Squarespace and check them out. You can use the promo code. I'll list it right below me as well as in the description. Uh, you can get 10% off your domain name purchase. This is some stainless steel hardware, little tiny machine bolt, some star washers to lock that in, and a nut. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on here and show you how this is going to line up. Now this plastic originally sat on here nice and tight, so I'm going to have to carve out some plastic from this location in order to have act, um, in order to keep this nut from bottoming out. So if you can see the thickness of the nut, I'm going to have to cut this plastic portion down to the height of this lower portion next to it. I drilled out this hole deep enough and wide enough so that these machine bolts can fit in uh, unobstructed. Yeah. 
So here we're putting the bus bar on and see we can fit that screw right in there and there's enough space for that nut. So here's our terminal there and it's going to go right in that location. Here's our wire. We want the wire to go off this side. I'm going to go ahead and put some Loctite on here. And now with Loctite on those threads, I'm going to thread on this little nut. So I'm going to adjust this so it goes off to the rear, but I don't want it to be on top of this next bus bar. Oh, I bent the bus bar a little bit as I tighten that up. I'm going to have to be careful of that. This this strip here is going to have to be spot welded back in place, so I'm going to sand this down. This is the second half of the first battery. The first battery I was working on is over here. So while I was taking this one apart, I started prying this tab off. I had a thought of a possible way that this might be more efficient. I thought maybe I can pry this bus bar up a little bit and slip this piece of plastic out from underneath without dismantling these spot welds. So I'd like to give that a shot. Now before I pry that out, I'm gonna go ahead and drill this hole because once I cut that plastic from underneath, there's not gonna be anything else to help support that. The hardest part is these little tabs that are in there. So there you go, I cut the I cut the notch on the bandsaw. You can see how it's now lower than this side. And I finished drilling out this hole for the little bolt to be able to fit in. So this is the front of the battery where the uh, circuit breakers are going to be going. So that's why both of these are traveling off in the same direction instead of one going to the back. Well, now you can see the process I'll be using to attach these wires with ring terminals to the inside bus bars. All I have left to do now is re-spot weld the tab that I did break off but that's identical to the last video that I put out. I think this is gonna work really well. It's nice and secure, nice and strong. Now I did think about soldering these in place, but I thought this was gonna wind up being a stronger connection in the end. Uh, the solder, if it was to get hot, I might wind up with a loose end in here, uh, and I didn't want that. Well, thank you everybody very much for watching the video. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you.